Let's get Callahan on three topics. Topic number one has to be Nick Folk, right? Nick Folk, the guy you played against in college. And <laughs> yeah. Five of five on the field goals, and he just keeps right on rolling. He, uh, he's he been the, the model of consistency, and his ability uh, to make some big kicks with three over 50 yards, uh, five total in a game where points were, were at a premium, especially early on. I love everything about his consistency. He's been fantastic. Folk on fire, we say it. Miami matched his career high. The five field goals, 53, 52, 47, 51, and 29. Since he's been a Titan, 36 of 37. And the oldest kicker to make three 50-plus yard field goals in a game. Oh, I didn't know that. Good yeah, how about that? Good for him. He's very, very consistent. And that's what you need as a kicker. You need points when you got them available, and, and he knocks it through every time. And in that ball game, you could just tell every one of those field goals was going to make a difference because it was just this battle. You had to go to your backup quarterback, Mason Rudolph, yep. 9 of 17 overall, 85 yards, and got you home to the victory. Yeah, what was great about Mason was his professionalism. To be able to step in in that spot, operate, um, we didn't have to put a lot on him uh, because our, our run game carried the load for a lot of that second half in particular, and it was – Really, really well done by him. And, and again, the professionalism, the ability, the calmness, the poise to step in and execute and operate the offense um, was really good to see for Mason. That's why we signed him, uh, because we believe that he'd be able to help us in these particular spots. And he did a really nice job. You reiterated that Will Levis is your quarterback when he's healthy. You feel good about Will, where Will's going to be post by? As of right now, I do. And uh, again, there's there's more to information to be had, but I think as of right now, I feel comfortable uh, where we're at and, and where we should be by the time we come play Indianapolis in, uh, in two weekends. And the Titans continued to do good things in the defensive line, even without Jeffrey Simmons. Let's start with Tavondre Sweat. Man, big sweat. He, uh, <laughs> he was a force, and he's played really well this year so far been disruptive, been active, made, made it hard to run the football, and then he showed up in a big way uh, last night. Played a little bit different spots because of Jeff's absence, played some more of the three technique than he did as, as the nose, um, but really was an impressive, impressive outing for Big Sweat. Six tackles overall, two tackles for loss, but maybe most impressively, played over 80% of the defensive snaps. Yeah, it looked like he's in shape, and uh, that's was the big question mark about him, and he's done, he's done such a good job of of being where he's supposed to be, being accountable uh, to making sure his weight's right, being accountable to his conditioning. And the more more he's played, the more comfortable he's gotten. And uh, I think you see the, his ability to be a force uh, in the NFL for a long time. And then number 69, Sebastian Joseph Day, also with six tackles and a quarterback sack. Stepped up in a big way. Again, another one of those guys that has been uh, an addition to our team that has been one that's underrated additions and continues to make plays. and. Uh, stepped up again with the absence of Jeff and, and made it life really hard on Miami to run the football.